Hey everyone, it's Talia here. Welcome back to another vlog on my channel. Today we are going to do kind of like a behind the scenes of completing this press on order. So you guys would have seen this press on order in a tutorial video and this video that you're watching right now is going to be the completion of that. So it is a vlog so there's going to be some behind the scenes of some things that have, were going on in my studio at the time this video was filmed uh, probably over a month ago now. So these nails, I talked about them briefly in a different vlog but these are the ones guys that I had such a hard time getting off. So I used that IBD nail glue and I had done it in like big gloves and I really <laughs> struggled to get these press-ons off. I had actually reached out to another fellow like press-on nail artist and I'm like, hey, what are your tips for getting like, like super sticky glue off like this? Uh, so she suggested a little bit of olive oil in a bowl to try and like get them really off and I've never had this issue before. I've worn press-ons for years and since filming this vlog I have also tried this glue again and I painted it on which uh, I was able to get the press-ons off when I actually wanted to get them off. So I would suggest doing that if you're going to try like a gel glue like this and it's not like a gel like one that you would cure. It's like an actual like gel consistency and it just air dries. I honestly spent way too long doing this and ended up actually just filing them off and I am going to move on with the rest of my day here. So I'm just filling out my planner here uh, to make sure that I have everything on my to-do list for the week of the different things that I wanted to accomplish. I am constantly changing what sort of planning system I use and now that I know I have ADHD I know that that is like a direct correlation to that because my brain doesn't work the same all the time. Uh, so currently I'm in this like bullet journal style which I am absolutely loving. I have been using it basically this entire year and I haven't strayed from it yet because it is just functioning so well for me. I love like the bright colors and stuff on it but it's also like super simple for me to just like write whatever I want in it. I have this magnifying glass light that I can use if I'm doing like fine detail work. Uh, so I tend to use it if I'm doing French tip nails or watercolor nails. Uh, so I, when I'm filming the video, like I can't usually use this because then I can't see like what shots and stuff I'm getting. Uh, but when I'm completing the rest of my client's orders, I tend to use this light quite a bit. This gel polish is the French manicure line from Opre and it just goes on so beautifully. I really like working with the Opre gel polishes uh, for French nails. Like honestly, I like working with them for everything, but if I'm going to do a French set of nails, I will look at my Opre colors first because they are just so easy to work with, which is why I settled on this pink one for this design. Uh, you guys would have seen in that tutorial video that I used uh, this Fusion gel polish as like my base for the glitter. That's like the sparkly, um, almost like holographic silver that's at the base of these glitter nails. Now I take pictures and videos of every set that I do as well as like the cards so that I can reference back like what I created on my clients. Usually I can remember if they've ordered multiple times from me kind of like what they ordered uh, but it's nice to have like a visual representation plus it's good for like content to post. Uh, so Lisa had ordered a few sets from me and then she also ordered like a one color bundle which is what you're seeing on this card here those three different colors. Uh, so I pick three colors and then I will just change the top coats with them. Uh, so those were the colors that I had picked for her and now I'm just getting her all sized up for the rest of her order. I utilize Pinterest a lot for my inspiration for nails and not necessarily just nail pictures but I love using these like color boards that are all over Pinterest. Uh, they really help with kind of combining different colors together and then I will also send my clients like my inspiration board and get them to pick some things from it. A lot of times though I'm just kind of looking at the general idea of the nail set and I will come up with something completely different on my own with it just whatever kind of sparks in my imagination for the design. Uh, so Lisa has sent me that color palette and then she also had sent me the picture of the Valentine's Day set and what I liked about that one is that all of the nails were different in it and they all kind of utilized different techniques uh, so that was kind of my inspiration going forward with one of the sets and then another set she had just sent me like a color board for it and it had some really pretty purples and greens with it and I immediately was thinking some sort of floral nails so I will pull my colors off of my gel polish wall here and then I will take them back over to where my lighting is really good and then that's 
where I will kind of narrow down the color palettes that I'm looking for. But whenever I do this, I am flexible that things can change as I'm designing as well. I do include like a Talia's Choice simple design whenever people place a press on booking. Uh, that way people can like mix and match their nails together and create some other unique looks with it. Uh, so for one of the sets, I wanted to do like a jelly pink one and I had never used this gel polish from Coco and Clara so I figured this would be the perfect time because I know this client loves pink. Uh, so I ended up doing it in two coats and then we're going to go in and do a little bit of stamping on it too. Now I wish I had like a system to share with you guys on how I create press-ons when I've got like a variety of them to do for one order, but I really just don't have one. I like to sometimes do the theme set first and then do these like Talia's Choice ones after. Sometimes like you can see here, I am just gonna get all of those Talia's Choice ones done first, uh, just because it's a little bit simple and sometimes it gets my brain moving for different ideas as to what I'm actually gonna do on the artistic sets. So that's what you guys are seeing here is me just doing like the more simple sets first. As I was staring at that pink jelly set in the background, I was thinking, you know what would go really good on this? Some flakes. So I'm gonna pull out my little flake bowl here that I have. And these little crystal dishes, I get these at mostly on uh, Swap and Buy, but you can get them at thrift stores and stuff. And I just think they look so good in a nail studio with some of your nail art elements. You guys will see them throughout my studio. So I ended up picking uh, this uh, flake here. This was one that I used to sell when I had my nail shop, Flora. Um, it is very similar to the Beanie Unicorn Flakes. I believe that Wildflowers has one that's kind of like this too. Basically, it's like a unicorn style flake. So it has a whole bunch of different like I don't even know how to describe it, like almost like holographic, but like white rainbowy type of flakes to it. So it goes over top of any color really, really well. I love working with uh, flakes with nail designs. It looks so good when you embed them and then you do like nail art on top of it. So I went in and did like my pink jellies and then I went in and did some flakes and then I'm gonna go in with another coat of that pink jelly and it's just gonna like make those flakes look really cool. If I am going to create a lot of depth though with my nails, I usually encapsulate it in a clear gel and then I will go in and do some filing. This way I can make the nails not lumpy and bumpy and I can make them not super thick. I also knew that I wanted to do some stamping on top of this set and I don't want lumps and bumps with it or else it makes your stamping look lumpy and bumpy. So if you guys are ever interested in like encapsulation or embedding your nail art or wicking, work, wicking, working with some like of those different nail art mediums that you have in your collection. My All About the Layers workshop would probably be the best one to take. Uh, it goes through a whole bunch of different nail art mediums and how to work with them on your, not only your press-ons, you can definitely use the techniques in any of my workshop on like human fingers too. Um, a lot of the things that I share with you in my workshops are things that I have done on clients for years as well. Uh, but the All About the Layers one goes a lot more in depth about like filing and how to create um, like, nails that don't look as lumpy and bumpy, but also gets you utilizing some of your nail art mediums that are probably in your collection and maybe you don't think to reach for them very often. I decided to go in with some black stamping on top of these glittery nails because I knew that the black was just like really gonna pop on the lighter shade of pink. And I am using a stamping plate here. I'm just trying to remember the name of it. I believe it's actually a floral one, but there's lots of really good swirls on it. And I wanted some like smaller ones that I could put like off center on the nails, uh, in the corners of the nails, or just kind of like randomly throughout. And this plate worked really well for it. These more simple Talia's Choice sets really let me kind of play around with the different products that I have and I love seeing what we end up coming up with here. Uh, so this is how this design turned out. For the next set, we are going to use four different colors for it. So first up, this beautiful pink one. It has just been a staple in my collection lately, as well as this kind of mauve purple shade, this really bright turquoise color. And then I also picked like a light milky pink shade from uh, Beanie Beauty Box. The formula of this is fantastic, but these are the backgrounds. And I am picking those colors based on the color palette that Lisa had sent me, as well as I found some of these water decals that had some Valentine's Day type of images on them. And I thought that they would be really good to put on like the milky pink nails so that's exactly what I'm gonna do here and then on some of the other milky pink nails I'm gonna take a blooming gel down and then marble some of those different shades into it 
I'm going to use this top coat from uh, Team Ladybug and it is a shiny top coat but it also comes in a matte version too for some of the like more plain colored backgrounds. Uh, so this one is the matte version that I use so that I can do some stamping on top of it. I'm going to get everything all top coated up here so that you guys can see what the final look is for this nail set. We do have another one that is inspired by this uh, palette that had some purples to it as well as some different shades of green so I pulled a bunch of Coco and Claire shades for this one. Uh, this green one is just such a beautiful color for any time of year but I thought it would work fantastic as the background for these nail decals which also came in like the color palette that she had chosen. Uh, so for these dark purple nails I'm gonna go in with uh, some crystals on them. We're gonna get everything all top coated and then you guys can see how this design turned out. It's simple but it definitely makes a statement so I'm gonna get Lisa's orders all packaged up here so you guys can see uh, the final result for it. And this is how Lisa's order all came together here. So a variety of different nails, mostly they are Talia's choice sets. Uh, and then she, like I said, had that one color set where we do some different top coats on top of it. So I had so much fun putting this video together for you guys. I hope that you enjoyed it and seeing a little bit more of the behind the scenes of when I get a press on order in. Uh, I'm currently not taking press on orders because it is um, just like a really busy time for me right now with the Back to Beauty show coming up. Uh, but I will be opening my books again coming in May. So if you are looking to get any custom sets definitely take a look at my website you'll also notice on my website that there is six workshops up right now and I do have another one uh, launching in May as well I'm thinking about the second week in May uh, so the best way to stay up to date with anything that's going on in the Toledo's Nail Studio community is to sign up to my emails um, I do not spam you guys I hardly put out very many emails but I do like to send you out emails when there's like different things going on like new workshops or new press on bookings but Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Comment below and let me know how you liked this style of video where I show you a little bit more of the behind the scenes of creating some press on sets as well as like packaging up the order and everything. I would love to hear your guys' feedback. Make sure you're following me on all my social media and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!